<laughs> All right, I'm gonna end it on this question. I'm done eating, but it was a good question. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up and what is good with y'all? Welcome to today's video. In front of you, you see a mountain of KFC hot wings, a nice, beautiful pile. I'm ready to get into it. Today's video is brought to you by a repeat offender. And by that, I mean a secondary time sponsor, Othman. So shout out to Othman or Otman. I don't know how to say his name, but he said I could eat whatever I want, but he just wants a longer video. So wings take me a good little while to nibble through especially when there's 20. Uh, in light of the length of situations of things i'm coming hot off the heels of that nachos video where i did a shh, sir please quiet down ice man doing his thing here he goes so i'm coming hot off the heels of the nachos video where i did some funny questions that questions list has like 70 plus questions on it i only got through like 22 so in this one i'm going to work my way through these wings and these sauces before we do anything more we must pour i got myself a diet pepsi today for that and uh, we're going to move the honey mustard here we do have a couple sauces ready and bring in the skier super sender ready to fly pop this here Crack the top on this guy. Do a nice pour up. Fizzling, fizzling. And uh, get prepared for this. So like I said, I got honey mustard back here. I got five of them. And then I also ordered five barbecue sauce, the best barbecue sauce that I've tasted. I feel like I think the KFC's barbecue sauce is like bar none my favorite. I got five of those as well, topped up and ready to go. And then in the back here, uh, they gave me a bunch of their hot sauces, which I've never tried. So I'm gonna try that in this video. And they are all pre-snipped and ready to go like a newborn Jewish male. You know what I mean? <laughs> snipped. So we bring the honey mustard back. We take our squishy. Isn't that what the what the drink on the Simpsons was called? Squishies. I always wanted to eat uh, eat eat a squishy. They kind of sound like you could eat them, but I always wanted a squishy. They look so good. Cartoon food always looks better or seems better. You know what I mean. The squishies always just seem so thick. 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 <laughs> All right. All right, first things first. We got a flat, a nice crispy flat. And we're gonna immediately go in first wing, first question. So the first question is, what is the most embarrassing thing you have ever worn? And I'm gonna do a barbecue dunk because I told you guys I love the barbecue just that much so what's the most embarrassing thing i've ever worn well well i'm sure there's been a lot of things considering like picture days or my mom dressing me up a lot not being You know, having autonomy over what I wear a lot back then. Probably some funny outfits I wouldn't really agree with. But I do have a more specific memory in mind, and that is one summer, me and my stepbrothers. Uh, we're super bored and we're just weird goofs probably in our i don't know i was probably about 12 let's say so anywhere ranging from like 10 to, to 13 14 and uh, we were super bored i 
and for fun we thought let's dress up in the most ridiculous shit we can find laying around <clears throat> this place so we had a bunch of like old like clothes from people back in the day and my sisters had some ridiculous like pink and blue like cowboy hat things that were very Britney Spears, very Aguilera. And of course they had like women's like garments and shit. So I remember my outfit specifically, I had like this cut off jersey. I dressed up super flamboyant basically. I had like jean shorts on with like a pink thong over top. <laughs> Pulled my like my package into like existence. Like you could see it. So like cut off jean shorts, these cowboy boots, a pink, a bright neon pink thong, like pulling up my nutsack. And then like a cut off jersey that said like O2 and it was like baby blue and, <laughs> and white. And I had this cowboy hat on and these like super high socks and like these ridiculous glasses. And my stepbrothers also had ridiculous outfits. There's a picture of it from back in the day. I would love to find it, but the point of it was we wanted to dress up like this to walk up to, there's a store, like the local camp store, and we were like, the whole point was to dress up and go embarrass ourselves by walking up in the outfits and then going into the store and like shopping for like a movie and some candy and some snacks and shit. So that's what we did. We just walked up and then went into the store because we were well known like in the area in the store right go there all the time and we walked into these ridiculous outfits <laughs> and then everybody just started cracking up being like what are you guys up to like kind of thing just knowing we were just kids like messing around so those are definitely the most ridiculous things probably i've ever worn so here's their hot sauce i've never tried it let's give it a go Mm. Very like Crystal or Frank's sort of deal. Nice and mild. I approve. All right, another question. Which body part do you wish you could detach and why? I'd say maybe like arm sometimes, probably. Because when like something falls and it's just out of reach. If I could just detach one arm and then grab it with the other arm, that would be sw uh, swag or sauce. Because... <laughs> There's been so many times where it's like something behind a bed or an awkward place or like behind like recently for me behind like my washing machine. I've dropped shit. And I've had to like fish shit out with a pair of tongs. If not that, then I would want to have a spy head. So detach my head and I throw it <laughs> like over fences or into like some, like a yard or something and then just like spy. And then <laughs> I don't know how I'd get my head back, but you know what I mean? Having a spy head. All right. What used to be considered trashy, but is now very classy. Trashy, but classy. I don't know. Is there anything? 
what used to be trashy but is now classy. I honestly can't think of anything. In my head, I'm going to try this honey mustard and hot sauce combo. I feel like it'll be delicious. Um, and it'll look cool on camera for you to crave. There you go. I don't know, my head immediately goes to like clothing. In my head, I'm thinking like jeans, some sort of jeans for girls. That were like trashy, but made a comeback. I'll say, back in the day, there was these jeans called silver jeans. And they were low-waisted. And the most popular pair didn't have pockets. And they fit girls in such a way that they made their butts look really good. But they never made a comeback, so... That I feel like those were technically at the time classy, but then turned trashy, but almost in a way I feel like in the future somehow they're going to come back classy just because of the whole, like the, the world moving towards the butt trend, the butts, like butts are so popular now. So I feel like silvers were ahead of their time in that regard. <laughs> That's the best thing I could come up with that <laughs> for that question. Shout out all y'all who know, know what I'm talking about too. The silver era jeans. What's the weirdest thing? A guest has done at your house. I don't know. Because... I feel like whatever weird shit they did is probably still secretive. Like, I wouldn't know. I would imagine probably pleasured themselves in a place that was weird or, like, needed to get one off and just got one off, like, while they were, like, going to the bathroom. You never know when the horniness strikes, you might have to just bust. It happens. Um, maybe steal something. Something like that is, would be my guess, but nothing I've ever caught. Nothing I've ever busted anybody for, but I would imagine something like that or I don't know. Maybe when you're young, like, them going into, like, your sister's room unknowingly and, like, looking at, like, their underwear or some shit. Like, something like that. I feel like it's what would be. But it would still be secret. Like, I, I wouldn't know. It would be something that they keep to themselves for their own little kink, maybe. This is the combo, by the way. This is, this is killing it. All right. What mythical creature would improve the world most... If it existed. I thought these are supposed to be funny questions. This isn't that funny. I'm going to just go ahead and go with a dragon. Because if I own one, I could just hop on, fly to anywhere I want, just start fires and shit. <laughs> you know, just act a fool on, on a dragon and cruise around and not have to pay for gas and get places quickly and just go have fun and then fly places for free and just live the dragon life. You know what I mean? I feel like definitely a dragon. What is the weirdest thing that you've seen in someone else's home? <laughs> oh, no. 
I'm just wondering if it's an object or like behavior because I've seen some hot behavior from like my buddy as a kid towards his mom and to me that was weird like treating your parents like you are the kingdom you're the king of the kingdom in the house or whatever I would have got folded in half and sent back to fucking non-existence if I was this the way this guy talked to his mom so in terms of like behavior shit definitely that but uh I also once I told this story way back in the day on, on the channel, but I was at my buddy's house and I stumbled upon, and he's like super, uh, super straight seeming, right? Like, but I actually stumbled upon like secretly hidden, like, uh, a double sided dildo and like some heels and stuff. So I think he liked to get a little freaky with some role play shit. If that's your deal, that's your deal. It's just I wasn't expecting it, especially from this guy. So for me to stumble upon it in his dwellings, I was just like, okay. He wasn't there when I found it, but he also slipped up and didn't like put it away, essentially. So I wasn't snooping. I just happened to see it and was like, whoa, <laughs> did not see that coming. What would be the absolute worst name you could give your child? I mean, uh, there's just so many that could be like made fun of, I guess. But, uh. I stand by that like Bart fart. Would be a rough one. But I think personally, and I've seen it happened amongst, it's always amongst like really nerdy people. Like I feel like Elon Musk's kids or whatever have some of these, but there's this other guy too, Ben... Gortzall or something like that. He's like super intelligent. But he named his kids like Eclipsis 397 and like just like super nerdy like mathematical or computational names. So it's like you're like just these I just feel like going to school and like everybody's like hey Sarah and Jim and like the and like Starseed 709 of Abraxas 12, like, it's just like, are you trying to make your kid's life a living hell or, or something? Now, I understand you don't want to conform with society or whatever, and you want to be unique, cool, but I'll tell you what, that kid is going to have a rough time being fucking, you know, whatever that means. So, probably that, whatever, whatever that is. Naming your kid after computer parts. Probably not the vibe. What would be the worst thing for the government to make illegal? Oh, I don't know. Breathing fresh air, freedom to move, Freely, freedom to go shop at businesses that aren't a megacorp and big box. <laughs> Hitting a little too close to home right now or what? <laughs> That's a funny question for this situation. 
freedom of choice if you have to wear a muzzle or not. That way you don't, you don't get beat down and arrested. Like it's a law all of a sudden, though it's not. If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? I personally would call it uh, addictive mouth trap, I guess. Just because when you put it in your mouth, it's just like... Even with like toast and stuff, it's just so like... Smacky, it's so hard to not smack while you're eating peanut butter. Even when it's kind of melty, it's still very like... Very smacky. Maybe I call it just that, I call it smack. Because it is addictive. And it makes you smack. So I'll call it smack. How about that? BBQ action. So what movie would be greatly improved it was if it was made into a musical? For me the answer is none. <laughs> we don't need any more musicals, okay? Listen, I love music. Big fan of music. Make my own music. Music calls? Not required. Unnecessary. Don't need you to sing song the point across. In the dialogue flow of the movie, it could just be said and acted out like a movie. doesn't need to be glitzed and told to me in that fashion for me to understand. So none, please and thank you, please. If life were a video game, what would some of the cheat codes be? Well, I think it is kind of like a video game. <laughs> it feels like it a lot of the time, um, but I mean, just like any good GTA game, it would be like, you'd want your money cheat code, you'd want your all vehicles. All modes of transportation. That's what, I don't know, that would be for me, it'd just be like instant, instant uh, dope house, instant travel. Instant all the fun shit. Instant hookup. <laughs> instant gratification with all the cool shit all the time ever with really no effort put forth. Of course, those are like always the cheat codes. That's got to be it. <laughs> what sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? That's interesting. I think a lot of sports would be kind of more funny to watch if people were a little buzzed up, but I got to pick something that's like kind of safe because I, I can't see like really drunk extreme shit because that's like death. But I feel as if like just even like soccer
Mm. I don't like badminton, tennis. Things like that. I don't know. I don't know what would be really funny to observe sports-wise people drinking. Lawn darts. <laughs> that already requires drinking. I was going to say hockey, but I was like, most dudes like drink and play hockey. Not professionally, but I feel like hockey and drinking go hand in hand with the people that I've grown up around. <laughs> so, I don't know. Something low impact. But where you could like mess up and it'd just be funny. All right, what set of items could you buy that would make the cashier the most uncomfortable? Now, a lot of people are going to go towards the TP and the, and the period stuff and things like that. But I personally think if you bought like <coughs> murder materials, if you rolled up with like gloves, a shovel, gas, uh, duct tape, rope um like garbage bag like heavy duty garbage bags and um what else would be in there some sort of like chloroform like gassing like just pass out agent if you could find it all in one spot Pretty sure if you roll up with that kit, cashier's gonna be like, hmm. <laughs> I wonder what this guy's up to. Along these same lines, what is the creepiest thing you could say while passing a stranger on the street? I feel like it would be something cryptic and creepy like, uh, uh, I'd be like, see you later tonight, or, <laughs> or like, I like the, or you look so peaceful when you sleep. <laughs> He's like, is this person watching me at night? Are they planning on coming to my house tonight? I like the way you look when you sleep. <laughs> that would be sketchy. If someone said it to me, I'd be sketchy. I would just be like, dude, you're weird, bro. You are strange. Hmm. I'm reaching the point. I'm hoping this video is long enough. 16 wings in the gullet. I have all the drums left. They're kind of gargantuan. Not my favorite things to eat. When they're like that. I'm going to end it on this question. I'm done eating, but it was a good question. Very appropriate. What is something that is really popular now, but in five years, everyone will look back on and be embarrassed by? <laughs> oh, you're looking at it. You're looking at it. And I think the popularity has already started to fizzle, of course. It has. The the trend of mock life has definitely fizzled. I think in five years from now, it'll be like, the fuck was that all about? <laughs> so the, here's to me hoping that I could transition all of this into some sort of other opportunity in the future. At least I cook most of my videos. So there's that. That's like still, it separates me from just this. But like, you know, let's hope I can move forward in that lane and maybe not forget about this but 
I don't know. I have a feeling in five years this won't be what it is today or was pr prior. <laughs> we'll see, though. Only time can tell. Okay. Going to end that one there. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.